Hello guys and welcome to the Zone of Tech, my name is Daniel and uh, in this video I'm going to do a performance twist, test between an SSD, which stands for Solid State Drive, uh, which in my case is a Samsung A30 SSD, and the traditional hard drive, uh, which is the one inside my baseline MacBook Pro. Now, the hard drive is made by Hitachi, has 320 gigabytes of storage space, and spins at 5400 RPMs. Also, at the end of this video, you will know why a solid-state drive is way better than a traditional spinning hard drive, and why you should get one as soon as possible. Now, I've divided this video into 10 different chapters, covering the boot time, shutdown time, sleep time, app time opening and uh, launching all the apps, then a black magic performance comparison, copy, duplicate and compressing time, battery, movement, noise and finally the price. Okay, so let's do a boot test. As you can see the app logo has already appeared on the SSD and uh, it's still not present on the hard drive. And the SSD is done in 13.3 uh, seconds. So I sped up the uh, video a bit. And the hard drive should be done by now. Okay, so the hard drive finished in 1 minute and, 13, uh, and uh, 30 seconds. So the SSD was 7 times faster. Okay, now let's do a shutdown uh, test. So they both shut down really, really quickly. The SSD finished in 1.5 seconds and the hard drive in 5.3 seconds. So the SSD was 3.5 times faster. Now the sleep time test. This is the SSD. And it took about seven seconds. And it wakes up in about one second. Now the hard drive. It's still going, still going. Still going. And it's done in 16.3 uh, seconds. So basically the SSD was uh, a lot faster, it uh, woke up from sleep in one second, uh, the hard drive took five seconds to wake up from sleep, although it was not in the video. Okay, now let's do an app launching time speed test. So on the left you have the SSD and on the right the hard drive. I sped up the video a bit. As you can see, the SSD is a lot faster. Still going, and the SSD is done in 3 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. The hard drive is still going. As you can see, the icons are still bouncing up and down. Now, although in uh, the video the hard drive is uh, hard drive finished in about nine sec uh, nine minutes, I believe. Uh, in reality, it took about thirty minutes to finish. So the SSD was 10 times faster. Okay, now let's do a black magic speed test. So as you can see, I'm getting about 300 megabytes write speeds on uh, the SSD and about 46 on the hard drive. 442 is the read the read speeds on uh, the SSD and about 31 megabytes on uh, on the hard drive. 
So, uh, <laughs> the difference is huge. Really, really huge, as you can tell from the video. Okay, now let's do a copy, compression, speed test. So this is the hard drive. And it finished copying a 1 gigabyte file in uh, 48 seconds. Now let's uh, compress it and see how long it takes. Okay, so it took about, well, it took exactly one minute to complete. Now on the SSD, it uh, copied a, the same one gigabyte file in uh, six seconds which is a huge difference from the hard drive and uh, the compression took 50 seconds now the only reason why the compression times are almost identical is that when uh, compressing the CPU is the one that uh, does all the work so uh, to be honest the SSD or the drive doesn't matter at all only the CPU okay so now it's time for the battery uh, now, although Apple advertises the uh, MacBook Pros as having a 7-hour lasting battery, I managed to get about 10 hours of wireless browsing using my stock hard drive, so not my SSD. Yep, you heard me, 10 full hours of uh, browsing the web, listening to some music and watching some random YouTube videos. Again, my brightness was about 10-20%. So it wasn't up to 100% because getting 10 hours with 100% uh, brightness is actually impossible. And uh, also my keyboard backlighting was turned off. But guess what? While having my SSD installed, I managed to get 12 hours of battery, which is completely insane. So yes, having an SSD really, really boosts your uh, battery by about one to two hours, depending on uh, how you use it for, how you use your Mac for. Test eight movement. Now being an SSD means that it has no moving parts at all. So you can basically move your Mac anytime you want, even if it's not in sleep mode. See, nothing happens because there are no moving parts, so moving your Mac won't damage your drive. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but uh, the uh, MacBook Pro is completely silent now. And uh, I mean completely, like your iPhone, your iPad, it makes no noise at all. So I'll try and... This is where the SSD is, but again, no noise at all. No noise at all. Completely silent. And finally, our last test, price. Now, a lot of you guys believe that SSDs are extremely expensive, they offer just a tiny speed boost and uh, they take away a lot of storage capacity. Now this is all untrue. They are not that expensive, they are extremely fast as you probably saw from my videos and uh, again they don't take away that much storage capacity. Now uh, for example my SSD, the Samsung A30 SSD costed me just $120, uh, which I believe is not expensive at all. Now I uh, bought the baseline 128 gigabytes model, which in my opinion is more than enough. The 64 gigabytes model is, uh, <laughs> is just not for me, and the uh, 256 gigabyte model was too expensive for me, so that's why I bought the uh, 128 gigabytes model. Now taking a look at the final results, 
uh, during the first test, which was the boot test, the SSD was seven times faster. While shutting down, the SSD was again 3.5 times faster. While uh, getting them into sleep, the SSD was 2.3 times faster. Now, when uh, waking up from sleep, the SSD was five times faster, which is <laughs> which is a lot. Now, when launching all the apps, although in uh, the video the hard drive finished in about finished in uh, eight minutes. Uh, believe me that it finished in 30 minutes to 40 in reality. Uh, the video was just too long for me to put it in a video, even with the speed up to 800%. So that's why I uh, trimmed the video a bit, well, a lot. So anyway, the hard drive finished in 30 minutes, while uh, the SSD finished in 3 minutes. That's uh, 10 times faster for the SSD. Now, when copying items, I uh, copied a one gigabyte file, the uh, Airport Express movie, and uh, the SSD was again eight times faster, which is a lot. Now, when compressing, uh, I got uh, similar results, only 10 second difference. Now, this is because when you archive or compress, because they uh, mean the same thing. So when you do that to an item, in my case, a one gigabyte file, the component that's uh, most used is the CPU, so not the drive. The drive is only used to put the uh, file, the new one, on it. The process of compressing is done by the CPU entirely, so that's why the difference is so, uh, so small. So only 10 second difference. Now looking at uh, the Black Magic speed test results, the difference is huge meaning that uh, the hard drive was only capable of getting 29 megabytes per second read and write speeds while the SSD was getting uh, around 307 megabytes per second which is 10 times faster uh, write speeds and 15.5 uh, faster read speeds uh, which were 452 megabytes per second so again the difference is huge now uh, the formats the hard drive was only capable of writing four different formats. That's, uh, I believe, 720p, PAL, and the NTFC, I believe. While the SSD was capable of writing 61 formats. That's 15 times more writable formats. Now, what this means is that, for example, when I was trying to, uh, to play a 1080p movie, <clears throat> well, I believe I was trying to play two at the same time. Well, anyway, the uh, hard drive had uh, had some problems while playing those uh, formats because it lagged a lot. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't capable of watching the entire movies without lagging. While the SSD did it without any lag or any uh, shuddering. Now, uh, this might come in handy when you're trying to write multiple high-definition 1080p formats or when you're just uh, trying to read them because again the SSD does that without any hiccups while uh, the hard drive has a ton of problems while writing those files or reading them now taking a look at the battery uh, the hard drive was capable of getting me through 10 hours of wireless browsing now that's uh, with 10% of the brightness so don't, don't imagine that uh, I used 100% of the brightness or that I was playing games and I still got 10 hours. No, I uh, just browsed the web a bit, watched some YouTube videos, but not a lot, just, I don't know, two or three, and uh, that's all. And also the uh, keyboard backlit was uh, turned off. Well, the SSD was capable of getting me through 12 hours of wireless browsing. Now that's a two hour improvement, which is huge. Which means that when you get an SSD, you also get some extra battery. Uh, and I believe that two hours, up to two hours, uh, is a really, really great boost of battery. Now, taking a look at the movement, we all know that uh, traditional hard drives are prone to movement, drops, and shock. While SSDs are immune to any sort of movement, including drops and shock. So, uh, we all know that uh, when moving a laptop, 
uh, the best way to move it is to put it in sleep mode first instead of just moving it around with uh, the hard drive spinning because that can really really damage your hard drive now this is not the case with the SSD because you can just uh, uh, take them and move them around anytime you want this is because they have no moving parts at all so there is nothing to damage while moving them and finally the final two checkers which are noise and price so again the SSD is completely silent it makes no noise at all it's uh, exactly how your iPhone or your iPad or any of your mobile device is it's based on flash storage which makes no, no, no noise at all because it has no moving parts now taking a look at uh, the price it can range from $40 to $100, $100 which uh, was my SSD, the Samsung A30 SSD and uh, <clears throat> it can reach, I don't know, $1,000 to $2,000 depending on your capacity and the speed of the SSD now my SSD, the Samsung A30 SSD is currently the best SSD on the market and uh, I'm not saying it just uh, because I want you to buy it well of course I want you to buy it, Samsung is not paying me to say this although but uh, it's the best SSD because it has tremendous speeds, it's really really fast, it's also more reliable than the rest of the SSDs because uh, it comes with the MCX 3 core controller which is made by Samsung. Uh, the other SSDs come with uh, the Sanforce controller and uh, all of the other pods are made by different companies so the Samsung A30 SSD is the only SSD on the market which has all the parts made by the, sem by the same company which uh, in this case is Samsung so in the end all I have to say is that I highly suggest purchasing an SSD right away not only because it gives you a tremendous speed boost as you saw from the video but also because it's more reliable than traditional hard drives it's uh, immune to drops, shock, movement, and most importantly, you can gain up to two hours of more battery life, which, uh, in my opinion, is really, really important. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to leave me a comment if you have any problems or questions. I will respond to all, yeah, all of the comments. Uh, then, uh, please give me a like and also favorite this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more more videos uh, every single week so thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe and uh, cheers